Hi there lovers and gentle beings, welcome back here to Nordic Sex Craft. My name is Linda and if you're new here, a big warm welcome to the sex positive space here on YouTube. I'm here to help you learn about new different things related to sex and if you think that this is interesting you can follow us and subscribe here on YouTube but also check out our Instagram account, the link is down in the description. <clears throat> so today marks the fourth episode of Tales from the North and we thought about what we wanted to talk about for this very special episode and we thought that we might spice things up a little bit. So we are going to talk about kinks and fetishes. First of all, we're going to define the difference between the two of them. There has been um, some different opinions that I've read about what they define kink and fetishes as, but from what I've been able to conclude, it is this. A fetish is something that you need to feel arousal and to be able to orgasm. It is like, if I were to give a, a little bit of a Nordic example, it would be like fuel, adding fuel to, for example, a snowmobile. You need a fetish to get going and you need it to get from start to finish. A kink, on the other hand, is something that you might add to make it feel more nice. It's not something that you need, it's just like an extra spice. And to continue on with my little bit of a Nordic example with the snowmobile, it would be like the grip warmer. It's really nice to have your hands heated while driving, but you don't really need it to get going. So, to sum it up, um, fetish is something that you need to feel arousal and to orgasm, while kink is just an extra spice, something that's extra nice, that you prefer, but you don't really need it. But what can a kink or a fetish be? A study from 2019 concluded that there is no right way to enjoy or have sexual pleasure. There, there are not one way, instead there are many, and there's always a lot of different and new ways to have and feel sexual pleasure. The study's main focus is BDSM, but I think that applies to every sexual activity. That there is like, there is no rules for sex. There is no, like, there's no rule for how sex is supposed to be. It's except, of course, consent. So with that in mind, really anything can be a kink or a fetish, but I will give you some examples later. Kinks and fetishes are often linked to BDSM in social media or in books, like spanking or having a domina or enjoying, enjoying rope or pain or lots of special sex toys. And that is amazing, but it doesn't always have to be that. It, doesn't, it isn't limited to BDSM, it can be whatever you want. It can be stocking or stockings or it can be role play, you know, whatever. I'm going to show you some examples as I said, but before that real quick I just want to remind you that the only thing that limits our sexual pleasure and our fun is consent. To borrow some words from BDSM, it needs to be safe, sane and consensual. As long as those three are ingredients in your sexy fun, whatever you're enjoying sexually should be celebrated and to yeah, be something that you get to enjoy whenever you want and how you want. With those three, of course, in mind. With that, I am going to show you some of the most common kinks that I found on a list based in the US. I haven't really done a lot of research, I just needed to, you know, get a list of common fetishes and kinks. So, without further ado, here they are. that was everything from me this time. I hope that you've learned something new and maybe that you've found something that you might want to try. A new kink maybe? If you want you can also comment down below and tell me what your kinks are, if you have any special fetishes or what you think that you might enjoy. 
If you like us, please subscribe, please give us a thumbs up and follow us on Instagram. I hope that I'll see you again next time. Until then, have a wonderful time. Bye!